Hello everybody, this is Locky Minecraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the plugins Player Count Message and Protocol Lip. So, Player Count Message allows you to do a custom player count message like this one here for my Fort Mine prison server. So that's that's what it looks like. You can display any text you want there. You can be as complicated, you can do text centering like I did here, or as simple as you want. Um, here's another server that's done the same thing that also looks kind of nice. Um, all right, so. To do this, you're going to want to open up your server folder, obviously install those two plugins in your plugins directory, restart your server, and open the player count message folder. Then you're going to see this config file. So open up the config file and you'll see, hello, this is line one, and it's going to be in red. So you can edit this to be whatever you want. So I'm going to do at seven, which is gray, at m, which is straight through. I'll put up all the color codes on screen right now in case you don't know them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is going to create just sort of a line, and then I'm going to do at B, at L, for bold, light blue, lock a Minecraft, throw in two spaces, two more spaces, at 7, at M, and then we should probably copy this. And so now we've got like lock a Minecraft with lines around it. So if you don't know how to do formatting codes, they're fairly straightforward. Basically an ampersand, not an at, sorry, so shift 7 on a PC, and then a number or a letter, all of those you can see on screen before, um, allows you to color text. Um, at M is strike through, um, ampersand, I just say at, sorry, at L is bold, at O is italics, there's lots of different codes. So we're going to save this, go over to our console, and type slash PCM player count message load which will load the config from file. So we're going to close this, and then we're going to go back into Minecraft, and if we scroll down here to my test server, we can see we have lock a Minecraft with a bar around it. So if you want to add another line, you can go back to your config and just copy the line, so double click it, then control C, control V, and you've got another line and we'll put some information here. We'll do say at a YouTuber, and then we'll say, well maybe we'll make this bar in gray, and then I'm just trying to be creative here, youtube.com slash Minecraft. Um, and then obviously you can do whatever you want. You can have it pretty much like 15 lines until, but if you get, once you start getting longer than that, it starts not fitting on some people's screens, so you want to be careful. All right, so in one of the recent updates, the creator added this feature, um, which is the shift five um, percentage sign player feature. So that what that does is grabs a random player and just implants their name. If there are no players online, it's blank. So we're going to do at B for just blue is currently playing. So what this will do is say, so-and-so is currently playing. If we save, go over to our console, PCM load. Oh, we forgot to close the quote there. Save again, PCM load, there we go. Head into Minecraft, reload, count is currently blank, then I get QE. But if he were not playing, so I'll pause it and disconnect on him. So if I refresh, he's gone, and that line is completely omitted. All right, so let's keep going. All right, so if you want to do Unicode characters, which are these special characters, like this Latin capital letter D with stroke, you can go to the unicode-table.com website and copy whatever characters you need. Keep in mind, not all characters are supported by Minecraft, so you may have to test around for a little bit. And you can just copy those straight into Notepad++ or whatever you're using. As you can see, there's the D. Um, so you can do whatever you want with those. All right, another thing you might want to do is centered text, and there's no easy way to do that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to show you how you can go about trying to center text. So I'm gonna type centered text. So basically, if you wanna create text that's in the center, you just type it, throw it as close as you can to the middle, save, go back to your console, do PCM load, then close this, go back to Minecraft, refresh, and take a look. See that centered text, not so centered. So we go back to our config, we scoot it back, say two spaces, save, go to our console, reload, go back to Minecraft, refresh, and you can just experiment till it's about centered. So we'll back this up a little more and you just pretty much experiment until you get it. 
So that's pretty much centered. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you what I did to create the one for my server, just real quick so you can see a little more complex of a file. So here we go. I have these lines, which are seven, which is gray, and for strike through. I have Fort Mine Prison, slightly different colors, and then I have Quests, Black Market, Many Cells, and one neat thing you can do is for all your main categories, have those one color, and then have your all your hyphens or whatever symbol you're going to use to separate them, make that a different color. That, that helps the formatting look nicer. Then another thing, for if you're going to have different sections, like this one goes over what the server has, and this is links, you want to separate those and these nice bars. So hyphens with strike throughs are nice for that. Links. Centering links is very difficult, so instead what you're going to want to do is create all the whatever when you denote what it's linking to you're gonna line this all up exactly and then experiment until you can get all the URLs lined up exactly as well and that's a way to make the URLs look nice because the URLs look much better when they are um, in a line so as you can see they're all they're in as close as line as I can get anyway whereas if you try to center URLs they look really ugly so that's just one thing you can try out so link to both of those plugins in the description thank you for watching bye